Federal Highway Administration Office of Real Estate Services. I have been leading research efforts to study right-of-way cost estimating among state DOTs. Federal Highway recently published two reports on our webpage. The first report is entitled State of the Practice, Right-of-Way Cost Estimation Practices. This report includes a nationwide survey of state DOT cost estimation procedures. The report also looks at data requirements, obstacles, and recommendations for improving right-of-way cost estimation. In terms of the survey, the biggest takeaway is that no state DOT is using a standalone right-of-way cost estimating calculator. State DOTs use a variety of methods ranging from manual systems to electronic right-of-way cost management systems. The data required to develop the electronic cost estimation consists of determining the parcels affected, identifying factors that affect the market value of parcels, and considering other costs and contingencies. Creating accurate cost estimates has been a challenge for most state DOTs. The reasons include uncertain determining fair market value, state and regional differences, factors changing over time like design changes, and a lack of qualified personnel. The second report that Federal Highway published is entitled Right-of-Way Cost Estimation Strategies and the Application of GIS. This report explores developing better cost estimates using GIS at a state DOT. The report includes recommendations from right-of-way planning and GIS program leaders at Wisconsin, Minnesota, Georgia, and Tennessee DOT, who joined a peer exchange last year in November. The group agreed that collaboration among planning and right-of-way, early and ongoing communication, sharing best practices, resources, and tools are very important for developing accurate cost estimates. The group also discussed GIS and agreed it could serve as a tool to consolidate parcel information for analysis using different data sets. Mark Sarmiento with the Federal Highway Office of Planning developed a web-based proof of concept showing how GIS can be used to analyze parcel information and to develop the cost estimate. Thank you. Here's Mark. Hello, my name is Mark Sarmiento and I work in the Office of Planning in the Federal Highway Administration. In this video, I will be showing you how a web-based GIS and a parcel database could be used to calculate preliminary project right-of-way cost estimates. Please keep in mind that this application is intended to be a proof of concept to help others understand how GIS can be used. Also, we created this application as a web-based example to show how users without GIS software installed on their desktop can easily access the tool when they need it. And finally, while this demo is built using Esri's ArcGIS portal software, the ideas in it can still be applied to other available GIS software. So let's take a look at this application. On the left side here, we can see the different layers that we will be considering and looking at. Along the top, we have a few widgets or tools that we use those data layers. Let's turn on this example project location layer. Here you can see the um, alternatives for a bridge crossing that will replace this existing bridge here. So this one is alternative A in blue and in purple is alternative B. Next, let's turn on the parcel property class layer. This shows whether the property or parcel is residential, like in this area here, uh, whether the parcel is a commercial property, like in this area, or if it's a manufacturing uh, type of property. And there's several others like agricultural, uh, agricultural forests, and these are in the legend on the left side. There's also aerial imagery in the background 
and this can give users an idea of what's literally on the ground. Though you, you do have to keep in mind that these images could be from one to three years ago. But they still do give a user an idea of what's on the ground. So in this commercial uh, parcel, you can see that this looks like it could be a gas station. These residential parcels definitely look residential. These look like houses. This looks like a swimming pool here. So the aerial imagery, imagery does provide uh, additional information when you're looking at this map. The last layer we'll turn on is the total assessed value of the parcels. You can, you can see that uh, we've grouped and themed them in a way to show the lower assessed valued properties as green and the higher ones colored red. And these are the breakouts for each of those color groupings. And while you're looking at it, you can see or you can start to think about how you might want to adjust the corridor to, for example, avoid this property here or somehow avoid this park area here. So there's already a lot of things that, that you can think about once you see the data presented in a visual way and, and on a map. Uh, now the uh, property class layer and the total assessed value layer, these are both these both come from the same source. This would be the Brown County Parcel Database. And this is Brown County in Wisconsin. And what Wisconsin has is a statewide parcel GIS database. And that's a feature that definitely makes it easier to bring parcel data information into a GIS app. So when we're looking at corridors, we might want to think about or consider what is the cost of the right-of-way along this corridor. So we're going to switch to this select tool and we're gonna select by line the parcels along this corridor here, this alternative A. So I will click and then I will trace along this line. And what this will do, will select the parcels along that alternative corridor. So once they're selected, you can see that we've selected 23 parcels. And if you want to get a quick estimate of the cost to take those properties, you could click on statistics here. And you could see that the total assessed value of those parcels is about 4.9 million, almost $5 million to buy the properties um, or get an estimate of how much it might cost to buy the properties along this, along this corridor. Another nice feature is that you can take those selected parcels and export them to a, a CSV file. Uh, you can take that CSV file and bring it into a spreadsheet-based uh, right-of-way cal cost calculator which is what many state DOTs do. They use Excel, for example, to develop a, a full, fully uh, fleshed out right away cost calculator. Um, if they're able to already bring in um, selected parcels that have some information in there, this type of feature being able to export that out to a spreadsheet, that makes it very useful. Uh, another feature is that uh, you can also edit some specific values along here. So if you wanted to um, edit this parcel here, you could say it belongs to corridor A. This is a parcel that we're looking at in corridor A. Um, when we're looking at uh, this field, I just put this in here, um, right-of-way complexity. Um, we might want to say that there's uh, this could be a highly uh, complex uh, acquisition because it's uh, near manufacturing and has a high value. Uh, this could be different things that you consider when you're taking a property. And there's also a space for, for notes in general. So uh, this preliminary project cost or preliminary project right-of-way cost estimate tool is just looking at assessed value. And uh, I recognize that there's certainly a lot of other right-of-way costs in addition to the value of the property that uh, is usually taken into consideration for a cost estimate, like easements, wetland mitigation, relocation costs, contingencies. But for this example, we're looking at a, a easily available data set 
in this case, the parcels, and an attribute of that data set, and that would be assessed value. Uh, that's something that all of the parcels should have because all counties around the country, that's what they base their, their uh, property, ta property taxes on. So, um, you know, when we're looking at cost estimate, we're looking at typically in, at the preliminary stage, we're looking at very early on uh, in the scoping stage of a project, or we might be looking at uh, preliminary cost when we're trying to just reduce the number of alternatives that we want to consider before we uh, get to a uh, uh, the project development stage. So definitely right-of-way costs are a major part of a transportation project. And what we're uh, trying to say here is that the better data that you can base your estimate on, uh, the closer that the closer your uh, preliminary project cost estimates can be to those final project costs. There's certainly a lot of work that has to go on behind the scenes for uh, to develop an application like this, like actually getting the data and getting that data into a format that you can use in a GIS. Uh, but there is a lot of work uh, that goes on behind the scenes to support the development of an application like this proof of concept. So to wrap up, I hope I've been able to show you how tools like GIS delivered through a web browser can be an efficient way to give users a quick method to get preliminary project right-of-way cost estimates. My name is Mark Sarmiento. Thank you for watching.